postgame, Nebraska and Purdue, a couple teams that have been reeling. And, of course, Nebraska without its starting quarterback, Riker Fife, getting the start in the place of the injured Tommy Armstrong. It was the other quarterback, David Blau, making an impact early on. David Blau is gone. 56 yards for the touchdown, and Purdue on top 7-3 to three after Nebraska had gotten an early field goal. Fife trying to answer. Stanley Morgan Jr., guy really impressed us in camp, gets into the end zone. Now, on this play... Celebrating with DeMornay Pearson L and Pearson L goes down, leaving with an injury that he suffered during the celebration. The extra point was blocked. So it's 14 to 9. Now Fife deep in his own territory, picked off by Anthony Brown, Purdue with great field position. And a few plays later on a third and goal. Do a little end around. Dominique Young takes it in for the touchdown. It's 21 to 9 in favor of the Boilers. A minute to go in the half. Fife intercepted by Anthony Brown. And Purdue goes into the half after the beautiful juggling pick on top 21 to 9. The first time they had led a Big Ten home game at the half since 2011. Early third quarter, Imani Cross for the touchdown. Nebraska back within five. But each time Nebraska got closer, Purdue had an answer. Blau to Jordan Jurasevich, the five-yard touchdown. And Purdue on top, 28-16. to And then it is Blau. This has been the issue all year for Nebraska, giving up huge plays in the passing game. This one goes for 83 yards. D'Angelo Yancey, 35-16, Purdue. And then Fife again intercepted by Brown, the third time in the game. Brown had come up with a pick. Riker Fife, four interceptions in this game. It is Blau to Yancey again. Four touchdown passes for Blau, 42-16. Nebraska's still trying to hang around. Fife, Brandon Riley. 52 yards. They would punch it in. Andy Janovich, the fullback, Howard, two yes. plays later. I love when the fullback yeah. gets the ball. 42-31, but then Frankie Williams comes up with a pick after a few deflections. He takes it back all the way to the six-yard line. Markel Jones would run it in on the next play. And Purdue, which was 1-18 and in conference games under Daryl Hazel, gets the win by the final of 55 to 45 so 